after that poor pass from the clerk. Interesting that Willie LaRue stepping up at first receiver more often than not than Willemse right now. There is menace in the ball carrying from South Africa right now. Colby. Two, three South Africans in to clear the ball out. Back inside to Etzebeth, but a wall of blue there to meet him. Dante is down and injured. Wayne Barnes will have to keep an eye on him. Very close to that breakdown. Inche will play scrum half. Needs a bit of support, you know. Gets it eventually from Etzebeth, but it was too late. And you can see that one coming from all the way up here. Yeah, he just got himself Ten isolated. Ten Made oh, Etzebeth's job really like difficult. Uh, Had to yeah, shuffle in behind him to make sure that just make sure he's he all right. Try and secure that ball as best he could. But concern right now for Jonathan Dante. French centre. Wonder whether he's just got a whack in the eye. I think it's a boot in the. Ooh, Oof. that is a red card. Then there is only one outcome. South Africa done a good job of slowing it down, but France just three metres short now. Dupont. Ficou, they have plenty of men out to the right, they have advantage as well. They come back to this left-hand side. Are they there? Referee says they are. France get their first try of the evening. And I think in amongst all that is Cyril Bay. Well, it might have been scored by a prop, but that was set up by Damien Pinot does so many good things in the build-up to all the positive French attacks. The defensive system, all out of sync. It's Sia Khaleesi making the wrong choice of attacker. Everything has to go right. Oh, what a kick. That Take a bow. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. First thing. Marks must do is find his man and try and get South Africa going forward. Antonio is gone, by the way, in the front row. That injury has taken its toll. Falatia is in. South Africa are on a roll and continue on that roll and get advantage. And Corlisi untouched. Over he goes. South Africa with advantage. Take advantage. We thought they might disappear. Not now. Well, if ever they could rely on someone to set the standards, to never take a backward step, Sia Khaleesi's that man every time. Just broke up. All the French looking into the breakdown, actually, as Khaleesi disappeared off, little pirouette in behind Moafana. Entomac was rooted to the spot. He didn't even see him going by. Well, that's what he'll say anyway. Sia Khaleesi, ninth international try for the South African captain. And from 13 down, this could be a three-point game in a moment. Well, we normally associate Sia Khaleesi with dominant tackles, don't we? But one of the other, only other things I've written down as one of my notes for him is standards. And he sets the standard for this team. So much pride in pulling on that number six jersey. As Colby knocks over the extra two. But for someone like that, he knows... Well, the South Africans know that he's just going to grab this game by the scruff of the neck and do what he can to drag his team forward. The line speed, the commitment, the accuracy, sending France backwards. The numbers on this near side. Up quickly comes to Clerk to stop it going out wide, and it's taken in by Moefana, and they get the penalty. On its way from the boots of Ramos, crowd will tell you 
that it's good. But he's back, Marks, no doubt, will show up at some point in the next Ooh. 20 minutes or so. Sit down. That's a winger Shell on the back sh rower. Into the air, not for the first time from De Klerk. That's a really good kick, and it put McAloo under all sorts of pressure, but he adjusted well. Having said okay, that... Listen. Okay, now, see ya, see ya. See ya, see ya, just one second. You've got the penalty, but there seems to be everyone wants to commentate and tell me how to do everyone. So please, enough shouting now, please. That was bongy. Not you. No, no, no. He's shouting at me. Everybody wants to be a commentator. Everybody, says Wayne. Cheslin Colby. Landed a one from downtown in the first half. Lands a more straightforward one at the start of the second half. And we're back to a three-point game. An option runner. Marchand. Wocky and the French Mall. Julien Marchand at the back. Definite advantage. Being played to France, South Africa. Pull down that mall and the penalty will go France's way. And a little surprise that referee isn't giving South Africa a warning because that was as bad as blatant as it gets. Probably. The distance had something to do with it, but Antoine Dupont, this Go time last week, the French tapped the ball into the corner. No threat of that tonight. Another three points, please. Surprised by that decision, 15 against 14. Game a little bit tighter than France would have expected, and now with that momentum behind them, they choose to this is no gimme three either for ramos it's no gimme three and you would think that france would have the confidence to put the ball in the corner with the number up but you've got two brilliant line out operators in mostert and etzebeth and there's a bit of a risk isn't there in terms of getting that ball into the line out making sure it's win, uh, one sure no doubt but whether this goes over or not that's a moment that's a moment in this game that France might look back on. Ramos makes sure of the three, which makes it look like a far better decision now. Willie LaRue sets it up. South Africa menacing. De Klerk will go back. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. Antoine Dupont. Well, he knows it as well. You could tell by his face. He knew he was in trouble. Cheslin Kobe may come back. We'll see. Can South Africa find it? Vili LaRue, out wide it goes. Aronsa! South Africa are in and over in the corner. Well, it's perhaps not the try that we might have expected from Aronsa. But that is a brilliant finish. Up against your launch in the wide channels. Just a bit of footwork. Enough of an explosive start to get on the outside of then Jelanche at the covering back rower. Did what he could, didn't he, to drag his feet into touch. But South Africa, one point behind with the kick to come. Still the guts of a half an hour to go. Hello. Safta Clerk nonchalantly strikes it over. Big kick okay. for Faf. Flags go up as they always seem to do. Good, strong running from Jelanche, and now... Oh, they're all away. Great tackle. Alan set, and uh, McAloo held on to it on the ground. Didn't release it. On its way from Willem Sack. Is it going to get there? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. To be fair, it was all Mal Malvaca. Two offences, you're the second. Oh, and it's a yellow for South Africa. This is a huge moment. It is absolutely 
enormous moment in the game. Referee South Africa defending as if their lives depended on it. France just keep hammering away. Surely it will come. It's another advantage. They're dragged over and the try is awarded. Try given. Advantage was there. And they took it. Please don't run and start shouting at me again. The try is good. I've seen it. South Africans complain. Referee not interested. Point. They didn't get there in the end. Just about. Inside the final three minutes, France in control of the ball, and that's everything right now. And their scrum has given them a penalty. And the 67 odd thousand here believe it's given them the game. Ninety seconds left in the game. Ramos. Normal service is resumed. The clock goes red, and France goes wild. And France won it by 30 points to 26.